again into this family cleaning R. I will be talking today in this particular video about 10 things that married couples do that make their marriage early. You see, young couples always think that people that are in early marriages, they are favored, it's by grace, they are well anointed, <laughs> or they are, it's by luck. No. Early marriage is not by luck. Early marriage is not by chance. Early married couple, they have things they do that make their marriage early. So I want all of us to listen to this now. I want this video very carefully. Number one, they kiss. They are fond of kissing each other and they do it so regularly. There is power in kissing. It's not just for romance, it's for companionship, it's for union. Number two, they talk. Effective communication is the power of any human relationship. When there is no communication, there will be frustration. When there is no communication, there will be confusion and it can lead to disruption. Any married couple, they know this and they deliberately find time to talk. The kind of talk I call intimate talking time. Intimate talking time. Number three, they touch a lot. Any married couple, they touch a lot. They are full of touching each other even when there is no reason for it. They hug each other passionately. Esper told us that for your marriage to be healthy, and for you to really bond, you must hug your spouse at least four times a day. Wow! They even told us there's a particular report released from the US recently that they discovered that couples who hug regularly, especially husbands that hug their wife before they go to work, they said they have 14% less accident. <laughs> that used to say they are more focused, they are more. It's funny, but that is the truth. Any married couple, they touch a lot. Number four, they are intimate. They are close. They bond together. They are one. And they work on their intimacy daily. They work on their intimacy daily. They date regularly. Regularly. I used to tell people that if you stop dating in your marriage, your marriage will soon be outdated. If you stop dating in your marriage, your marriage will soon be out of date. Number six, any married couple, they say thank you a lot. They thank each other. They appreciate each other for little things, both in the private and even in the public. They are so much of praise and appreciation for each other. That is why their marriages are healthy. Any married couple, they walk through conflict. It is not that they are not having conflict, but they walk through it. They solve their problems, they talk through it, they plan through it, they war against the conflict instead of warring against each other. That is why their marriages are healthy. Number eight, any married couples do things for each other. They do things for each other, they cover each other, they stand with each other, they serve each other, they care for each other, they motivate each other, they encourage each other, they fight their battle together, they win their war together, and they celebrate their victory together. That is the reason why their marriages are healthy. Number nine, they spend time together having fun. They spend time together having fun. A lot of couples will not spend time together and some couples that spend time together, they spend time together not having fun. But if you see married couples that are really doing well in their marriages, check them very well. They find time to have fun with each other, they are full of jokes, they play together, they are full of comedy, they laugh together, they talk together, they are full of humor. That is why their marriages are early. Number 10, they compliment each other instead of criticizing each other. Criticism is a cancer of marriage. 
wherever you see couple criticizing each other, their marriage is heading for the rock. That is why you don't sit down to criticize your spouse. Do things together. Compliment your spouse. Stand with your spouse. Cover your spouse in battle instead of criticizing the error. Every married couple, they know all these things and they use them very well. That is why their marriages are early. I hope you will work on this. You will kiss, you will talk, you will touch, you will intimate, you will date regularly, you will say thank you, and you will work through conflict, and you will do nice things for each other, and you spend time together having fun, and you will start complimenting each other instead of criticizing each other. Then I can assure you, your marriage will be healthy. Thank you for joining me. It's been busy and daily your family coach.